Hello, my name is Alan Willis and I'm the lead practitioner for ICT and the head of DCF at Crossy Kiliog. And I'm going to explain about the new course in digital technologies, which is replacing the current WJC in GC, GCSE ICT. The GCSE ICT course has run for several years, and with all courses, then, then there's an end point. And when, after that end point, then the new course is brought in. And that's why digital technologies has been brought in now for to replace the current GCSE and to move forward then into the next uh, next few years. So the WJC have introduced this new course called Digital Technologies, and they say that the qualification is designed for learners who wish to begin their journey towards a career that utilizes digital technologies or to progress onto advanced level programs of learning involved by digital technology. So what does the course actually involve? Okay, so the, the course is, is, is split into three units. The old GCSE used to be four units, used to be two exams, two pieces of coursework, whereas this course is one exam and two pieces of coursework, what they're now called NEAs, okay? The exam is still worth 40% of, of the GCSE, but you know, as people have said over, over the years, then, we used to have a paper-based exam. Now this has gone, gone on to an on-screen exam, which seems uh, a bit more applicable then to uh, an IT-based course. So the the theory exam is worth 40% of the GCSE. The first piece of coursework or NEA is worth 40%, and the second uh, piece of coursework or NEA is worth the remaining 20%. Okay, so the the weighting, if you like, is still the same. So it's still 60% NEA or coursework and 40% exam okay so the the first unit is called the digital world and it will cover six areas data digital technology systems digital communications the impact of digital systems on organizations and individuals securing data and systems and changing di digital technologies because this is a brand new course we haven't got a lot of information about the, the content at the moment um, but we'll be having training then over the next uh, month or so and then we'll have a lot a lot uh, better idea then come, come September. So the, the exam side of it, they've given us the topics, but we'll we'll get some more uh, resources in what that actually involves then uh, before September. The first NEA or the first piece of coursework involves you working on some spreadsheets where you're interrogating the data, which means you're looking at it, trying to get sort of patterns and uh, information from there. And then the second part of that is going to be to create a website and manipulate some images using graphics packages and produce a game or an animation, okay? So as well as actually um, creating the game or the animation on the website, they'll have to plan them, then obviously develop them and then evaluate them then from there, okay? So it's not just a matter of making, making, the, informa uh, making the game or making the website or making the animation, okay? So here's an example scenario which the exam board have given us so far, and it's to um, to develop a data-informed digital products. So they've carried out a survey to this, so that's going to be the the the, um, the spreadsheet part of it, and then they're, they're going to create then their website or game then, which is going to go um, onto the website once they once they've done the uh, the research using the spreadsheet. So it's two parts of that really, looking at the data they're given first of all, and then creating something then for the uh, for the target audience then that's developed then by looking at the data, okay? And as we can see here, the um, the marks then for this for this project isn't just for developing, which is um, D, E, and F, okay? So that's like half of the mark, if you like, that's 40 out of the 80 for actually making the things, but the rest of it is gonna be on analyzing, excuse me, planning and testing and evaluating. The third then unit, the course of it called NEA, is about um, social media and creating creating social media. So they're going to look at how social media is used and then come up with their own little social media campaign based on the scenario. Okay. So again, if we look at one of the scenarios, in this case, the, the students will need to make a social media post, whether it be on advert, whether it be a video, um, 
some mute moving images but it's got text on it um, which is going to be for a record company and again if we look at the criteria okay creating is worth 25 25 out of the 60 and the rest of it then is going to be um, the planning the evaluating and so on and so forth okay so it's not just going to be just for if you're really good at making things on the computer that's only well half or just under half mark then for the task you are actually going to need to do the the planning the evaluating um, beforehand as well okay so thank you for watching if you need any more information about um, about this qualification if you go to the uh, WJC website and search up digital technology it will give you then this page which will have lots of information then about the course and obviously as they sort of gets nearer the time give you more and more information about the course itself but it's a good place to even look at what what, what the content is if you look at the um, look at the specification it'll give you everything that what you need to know at the moment about the course so I, I hope you find that interesting and I hope you to see you then in September to join us on our digital technology journey thanks for listening